So, picture this. Cat Williams drops a bombshell, suggesting Steve might be deep in the dark and murky world of Hollywood's elite party and cult scenes. Shocking, right? Now, before you dive into panic mode, remember, these are just whispers in the Hollywood breeze. Now, let's talk about Lori, the star of our show. Her romantic journey reads like a blockbuster script featuring A-list names like Michael B. Jordan, Diddy, and even F1 champion Lewis Hamilton. Cat Williams hints that there might be more to Lori's love life than meets the eye. Is it a carefully orchestrated game by Steve and Marjorie for fame and fortune? But hold on, we're just scratching the surface. Cat Williams raises the curtain on Steve's alleged obsession with Lori. Despite not being his biological daughter, the public displays of affection and attention are hard to ignore. Could there be a hidden agenda behind Steve's fatherly love? Is Lori being used as a pawn in the Harvey family quest for fame and fortune? Let's address the elephant in the room, the accusations of soul selling and involvement in Hollywood's elite circles. Cat Williams didn't hold back, sending shockwaves through Hollywood's tightly knit community. While these claims remain unsubstantiated, they've opened a Pandora's box of questions and doubts. Now you might wonder, why all the fuss? Well, it turns out Lori's dating history is a who's who of the rich and famous. From Diddy to Michael B. Jordan, she's navigated the treacherous waters of love with some high-profile names. Cat Williams suggests that Steve and Marjorie might be pulling the strings behind Lori's romantic liaisons for their financial gain. Is it all just a chess game in the Harvey family dynamic? As we unravel the layers of this Hollywood drama, let's not forget the heart of the matter, Lori's dating history. From Dutch football player Memphis Depay to actor Damson Idris, her love life has been a whirlwind of high-profile relationships. But here's the million-dollar question. Are these just the tip of the iceberg? Could there be more high-powered men that Steve and Marjorie Harvey have set Lori up with behind closed doors? The gossip columns are buzzing with speculation, and we're here for the ride. In the grand finale, we're left pondering the motives behind Steve Harvey's seemingly intense interest in Lori's romantic life. Is it about favoritism, as Cat Williams suggests, or is there a deeper, more calculated agenda at play? Grab your popcorn, folks. This Hollywood saga is far from over, and the plot thickens with every twist and turn. Stay tuned in the Harvey family drama. Diddy and Lori Harvey are sizzling up Italy, and you can't miss the casual intimacy with Lori's arm draped on the back of Diddy's chair. This revelation comes amidst recent sexual assault lawsuits against Diddy, raising eyebrows about whether Steve, the trusted advisor on love and relationships, was aware of his daughter's dating choices. The tabloids have been abuzz with Diddy and Lori's whirlwind romance, capturing moments in Italy, Mexico, New York City, and Atlanta. What's captivating is Steve and Marjorie seemingly approving of the relationship, with Diddy even taking them on vacation with Lori, showcasing their tight bond. The twist lies in Steve Harvey seemingly turning a blind eye to his daughter's headline-making romantic choices, given his role as a dispenser of dating advice. Speculation arises about a potential hidden agenda, suggesting that Steve and Marjorie might have orchestrated Lori's relationship with Diddy, introducing them when Lori was still a teenager. Cat Williams adds more intrigue, hinting at a personal conflict with Diddy. Williams reveals that Diddy offered him a staggering $50 million for a lewd act, an offer he vehemently turned down to protect his integrity. Amidst Diddy's multiple sexual harassment and assault cases, Cat Williams' implication adds complexity. It begs the question, why would Steve Harvey, known for conservative values, allow his daughter to date someone with a controversial past? Delving deeper, allegations against Steve Harvey extend beyond his family's romantic web. Cat Williams accuses Harvey of material theft, targeting his role as Mark Cooper on The Steve Harvey Show. Williams suggests a conspiracy involving Harvey, Cedric the Entertainer, and Ricky Smiley against him, shaking the foundation of Harvey's reputation in the entertainment industry. So here's the scoop on what went down. Cat Williams found himself doing voiceovers for Harvey's show, but ended up feeling a bit sidelined. 
He spilled the beans, saying that his association with Harvey negatively impacted his stand-up career with significantly less money coming his way compared to other opportunities. Minimum wage was the name of the game, and Cat just couldn't see himself doing it for another two weeks. But hold on, Cat Williams wasn't the lone ranger making accusations against Steve Harvey. Bernie Mac's daughter, Janice Mula, joined the chorus, supporting Cat's claims. Cat had alleged that Harvey was trying to steal Bernie Mac's role in Ocean's Eleven, and Janice was having none of it. She found the whole thing hilarious and gave Cat a shout out for being a stand up dude. According to her, competition among comedians can get pretty fierce behind closed doors, shattering the myth of camaraderie. And guess what? Bernie Mac's close friend, Feed Lover, jumped into the ring too. He backed up Cat's claims about Harvey's alleged hostility towards Bernie, saying he believed Bernie when he said Steve wasn't exactly a fan. It's like a comedy drama unfolding, right? Now, here's a twist in the tale. Even Boo Bez, the hardened hip-hop renegade, got involved. He shared a heartfelt story about Cat Williams, revealing that Cat had gifted him $155,000 after his release from prison. Talk about unexpected generosity. Boo Bez described Cat as a real man, expressing deep gratitude for the unexpected gesture that came at a crucial time when he had nowhere to stay. The emotional impact left Bubaz nearly choked up, and he promised to return the favor whenever he could. All these allegations and accusations have painted a picture of Steve Harvey that's far from the affable and trustworthy family man he portrays on television. From material theft to betrayal of fellow comedians and involvement in alleged conspiracies, it's been a wild ride. As the dust settles on this explosive controversy, the big question is, are there more comedians with similar grievances against Steve Harvey? Is there a deeper truth behind the allegations of material theft and betrayal? The text discusses various allegations and controversies surrounding Steve Harvey involving his family, particularly his daughter Lori Harvey, and his interactions with fellow comedians. Cat Williams suggests that Steve may be involved in Hollywood's elite party and cult scenes orchestrating Lori's romantic relationships for fame and fortune. The focus is on Lori's high-profile dating history, with Diddy being a notable figure and speculation about Steve's awareness and potential hidden agendas. The text also delves into Cat Williams's accusations against Diddy, suggesting a conflict and a substantial monetary offer. The narrative extends beyond family matters as Cat Williams accuses Steve Harvey of material theft and betrayal in the entertainment industry. Bernie Mac's daughter and others support these claims, painting a picture of Harvey at odds with fellow comedians. The text highlights various individuals, including Boobaz, sharing their perspectives on the controversy, adding layers to the narrative, 